If you're looking for something fun to do around town, why not experience art outdoors and do it all for a good cause? Arboretum and Botanical Gardens is hosting a fundraiser and I got a chance to get all the details from Dana Duty. This is a really exciting event where our guests are going to get to be a part of the art at the Arboretum. It's called A Brush With Nature and it brings together art and the outdoors as artists from our First Coast Plain Air painters set up different points around the 120 acre property. Um, they get to go to their favorite scenes and people get to interact with them live and in real time as they're painting. And then they can also purchase their favorite piece of art if they'd like. Proceeds go to both the Arboretum and the local artists, which is really nice. Definitely. Now, aside from the live art that's going to be created and sold, what other activities can people expect? It'll be a fun day for the whole family. Um, in addition to live art, we'll also have uh, food trucks on site. So we're going to have Kona ice, and we're also going to have Big Island bowls, which yum yum. And then we're going to have uh, children's activities as well from noon to three. Um, we're going to have live entertainment from Sidetrack Duo and Old Dog New Tricks on both days, which is really great, From also from noon to three. And then we're going to have uh, Earthworks out to do a plant sale. They're a great partner of ours, so it's really nice that they're going to be out here with us, too. Absolutely. Now, I know that um, safety and health is top of mind for a lot of folks out there. What protocols will be put in place? Well, we wanted everybody to be able to attend the event, even if it's from the safety of their own home. Uh, you know, some people aren't comfortable coming out in person just yet. So we did add a virtual piece to the event where people can purchase the art from a, a link from our website, which will have an online gallery. And then also they'll be able to catch up with us on some Facebook Live. We'll be doing some social media live on the, on the, uh, on the grounds so that people can hear some of the festivities that are going on on and around the, the Arboretum. That is awesome. I love the fact that in a weird way, this pandemic is allowing everyone to be included in an event, um, even from the safety of their own home. So can you tell us a little bit more about what the uh, funds will go towards? Yes. Um, well, we actually, for, for this event, uh, the proceeds will go to some of the improvements on the Arboretum. Like we have a new, a new ADA path that we just added. We also have some other things like a palm garden, some of the other gardens that we're putting in place. But it also helps really to maintain things like our, our parking lots and other areas around the Arboretum. So it's really important. And we ask just for a $3 suggested donation per person. And lastly, I know um, people might be interested in, in kind of getting more information. Where can they find that? Well, our website is a great place, jacksonvillearboretum.org. Um, they can go there to check out our website. There's lots of information there, uh, the link for the art gallery. And also the event itself is October 17th and 18th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. You can always find this segment and more on our website at firstcoastliving.net.